Hello, so this is going to be a video on the Soviet DP3 Rontgenometer. So basically this is a vehicle mounted iron chamber detecting unit that would have been used in Soviet aircraft, helicopters, you know, tanks, armoured vehicles, all those sort of things for a very, very long period. So in a minute I'm going to flick it on, um, but I'll go over the sort of scale with you and it's pretty simple. So I think it's technically called a DP5, uh, sorry, DP3B. Um, so I'm going to run this off a 24 power, volt power supply, I'm going to run it off a bench transformer, but unlike a lot of other Soviet things, this is not a Geiger counter, this is actually an iron chamber. Basically it's a really big iron chamber on the end of a pole with a load of resistors and all that sort of stuff in there, on a big cable. So the idea is that the iron chamber sits on the sort of front of your tank or, you know, whatever, outside a helicopter, and you can take the readings that way. So has a long wire that goes from the iron chamber to the unit there. Um, now, interestingly, the scale on this, you've got times one, which is um, basically 100 milli Rontgen ranges up to one Rontgen, times 10, so basically two Rontgen, four Rontgen, six Rontgen, eight Rontgen, 10 Rontgen. Uh, same with 100, so 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 Rontgen, and then you've got your 500 Rontgen one that uses the bottom scale. So, what we're going to do, let's turn the power supply on. Let's get this up to the amount of volts it needs, which is about 24. Okay, now let's flick the switch on. And there we go, it's powered on. So what you can hopefully see, um, there's a bit of sunlight here so the bulb won't be as good as if I had it in a really dark room. But you might hopefully be able to see, if I put that up like that, that the bulb of the backlight is on. Oh, and the wires just jumped there a little bit. But it should go back down. There we go. Now, there's a circuit check button on here. So that's this one. Hopefully this is in frame. Yeah, there's the circuit check button. And that's working as meant to. As you can see what's caught up there, you've got your times 1, times 10, times 100 and 500 little bits with a bulb illuminating them. So yeah, that's basically all there is to it. It's a very, very simple bit of equipment. When it's detecting radiation, that little red light in the corner flashes there. Um, but that's basically it. It's a very, very simple unit, um, but it works incredibly well. Now, as I said, this, was, this predates a lot of the Geiger counter technology, because it's an ionisation chamber. Um, pros and cons to each one, but this was one of those things, you know, that was designed obviously when people thought the Cold War might have gone hot. So I'm going to mount this on my wall next to the Polish DPS-68. Um, this is a really, really cool unit. I absolutely love it to bits. Um, I bought it from B-Store. I wasn't sent it for free. I actually bought this one because I thought I really want a DP-3. Um, my last big purchase in a while, I think. So, yep, this is going to be wall mounted, um, it's a lot easier to mount than the um, DPS-68 is because it basically, you can just get, if you've got a decent enough wall, all you do is you get a, um, you can either put three nails there, I guess, and hang out on the nails, or I put a screw in with a really sort of big screw of a raw plug there, and that takes the weight of it just fine. So, there you go, that is your um, DP, um, sorry, DP3, or DP3B, uh, Soviet Iron Chamber. And I said, unfortunately, the light reflecting there means it's not the easiest sort of illuminated display to see. Um, but it is a really nice unit. So, yeah. I'll just twist that up a bit again to hopefully... So, yeah, you, go. you can see the actual scale. But, yeah, it's, it's a really nice unit, in my opinion. Um, so, I think the Soviets kept using these for yonks. Um, because as much as Soviets were more into Geiger counter technology than iron chamber technology, um, I guess this was one of those if it ain't broke, don't fix it designs that they just kept using for ages. Uh, but there you go, so that is the Soviet DP3, or DP3B. Pretty simple unit, has two, I uh, assume those, those are two amp fuses that are in there. I know they're fuses, so I assume 2A means 2 amp. There's your circuit check button that basically just pulses, um, you know, a thing for the iron chamber, basically a circuit check function, um, so that works, and then yeah you've got your different scales. 
And that's the thing I really like is that number that changes on there. And that's off. There you go back on. And just let the power reset. And you've got a little red light that flashes when it detects radiation, which is pretty cool. So I guess it has kind of got a counter function on it. Um, but yeah, I think the red light literally is just powered on to tell you it's on, and then when it detects radiation, the red light flashes. If you can see that where I'm pressing that and it flashes. There we go. So yeah, that is the Soviet DP-3. So if you ever wondered what um, the old Soviet tank-mounted dissimeter units were, they were basically these. Um, pretty retro, but still work because, you know, Soviet um, electronics. Just a chunky sort of metal box uh, with an iron chamber attached to it. Exactly what you want.